Moving on to sixth problem, diagonal AC of parallelogram ABCD bisects angle A. Then show that first thing it bisects angle C also, and secondly ABCD is a rhombus. Now moving on to solution. Now we are required to prove from the above figure details that AC bisects angle C. That means we need to prove that angle ACD is equal to angle BCA. And second thing, ABCD is a rhombus. In order to prove that, given parallelogram is a rhombus, we need to prove that all the sides of the parallelogram are equal. That is, AB is equal to BC is equal to. CD is equal to DA. So, let us move on to the proof. In order to prove this, let us consider two triangles. That is, triangle ADC and triangle ABC. In the both triangles, AC is equal to AC since it is a common side. In triangle ADC and triangle ABC, AC is equal to AC as it is a common side, and BC is equal to AD as in the parallelogram, opposite sides are parallel and or equal. Similarly, by applying the same concept that in parallelogram, opposite sides are parallel and equal, we can say AB is equal to CD. Therefore, here the three corresponding sides of two triangles are equal. So, by triplet property, we can say that triangle ADC is congruent to triangle CBA. So, here by applying the concept that when two triangles are congruent, then their corresponding angles will be equal. Here. We can equate angle DAC is equal to angle BCA. So let it name is at equation number two. Now, as triangle ACD is congruent to triangle BCA, we can say the corresponding angles are equal. So here, angle CAD is equal to angle BCA. And also, angle CAB is equal to angle DCA. Now, we know that as AC bisects angle DAB, angle CAD is equal to angle CAB. So, as we know that CAD is equal to CAB, we can equate. Angle BCA is equal to angle DCA, which implies this can be written as angle ACB is equal to angle ACD. So here, angle C is divided by AC equally. So we can say that AC bisects angle C. This is what our first proof required. And secondly, we came to know that as angle ACB is equal to ACD. And angle CAD is equal to CAB, and we can equate angle CAD is equal to angle BCA is equal to angle DCA is equal to angle CAB. So now by considering angle CAD is equal to angle DCA. And by applying the concept that sides opposite to equal angles are equal, we can say AD is equal to BC. And by considering the other two angles, that is angle CAD is equal to angle BCA. And applying the same concept that sides opposite to opposite. 
equal angles or equal we can say AB is equal to BC as angle CAD is equal to angle DCA the sides opposite to these angles are equal which implies AD is equal to CD here in the parallelogram the non-parallel sides are equal so we can say that ABCD is a rhombus this is for the required second proof